This is Greg Patterson with Arkansas Farm Bureau. And on this edition of Arkansas AgCast Extra, we've got Dr. John Clark. He's with the uh, University of Arkansas System, Division of Agriculture, distinguished professor in horticulture, and is, in my opinion, the blackberry expert. You've got a new blackberry out there, John. Uh, Ponka, tell us about it. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, Ponka, it's really exciting. You know, when I first started working with blackberries 40 years ago, when I came to work at the University of Arkansas, all the plants had thorns. Most of the fruit was quite tart. And um, I thought, boy, it'd be nice if one of these days we could get one that's always good. Ponka is the closest I've seen of our array of varieties now 40 years later. I'm going to pick on Ponca, and it seems like I just get berry after berry after berry that's good. We can talk about yield, and we can talk about thorns, and we can talk about when it ripens. But what it tastes like is what people or customers remember. The Ponca is consistently sweet in my experience, and that is really one of the key things. But we want blackberries to be something that people just sit down and eat, not necessarily make cobblers and pies and jellies and jam. Well, you know, I have heard, and you guys have a long history of putting out excellent blackberries that I, I've even heard some people say, once you eat this blackberry, you may never eat any other type of blackberry. And that's saying something with all the work that you've done. Now it's available, I guess, this year for farmers to start planting. Um, what's that look like in terms of people being able to buy the fruit, you know, at the farmer's markets and grocery stores and wherever it winds up uh, coming out? How long will that take, John? Well, Ponca was first put on the market late in 2019, early 2020. And so a limited number of plants were planted uh, in the United States, and I'm sure some in Arkansas. So there'll be a little bit of fruit produced the next year, which is how the hurricane fruit and blackberries work. There'll be a limited amount of uh, fruiting in 2021. Plants can be purchased this winter. Uh, they are on the market and the supply should be fine. Uh, all of our varieties start out from what we call tissue culture plants. And the reason we do that is because that comes from virus tested cultures. So the plants start out clean from viruses. And then the tissue culture nurseries, there's a couple of them uh, that market them first. And then the plants are, have a broadened marketing with other nurseries that use these plants or use these plants for propagation. So it always starts out um, somewhat limited and then expands from there. I think the best thing to do is probably to go and just uh, search online for Ponca Blackberry and see who's offering it. The University Blackberries are patented and nurseries are licensed to propagate but that does not restrict uh, other nurseries from selling simply the propagation. So like always, there'll be more and more as time goes on uh, as in years, uh, next year. Well, when you say a thornless blackberry, a blackberry that is sweet and has excellent taste, there are other great attributes to this blackberry as well as far as uh, things that, that farmers will appreciate as they begin to grow it. Uh, you're speaking a language that a lot of people love to hear. He is John Clark, Dr. John Clark with the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture, um, distinguished professor, and, and as I like to call him, he's the, the Blackberry King. John, thank you so much for being on this edition of Arkansas AgCast. Thank you, Greg. Good to visit with you.